Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to append last inserted records in HTML table, by using Ajax with PHP. Here main benefits by using this feature is that, it will not fetch all table data, but it has add last inserted record in HTML table without refresh of web page. There are many viewer has suggest us, why are you reload whole table data, you have to append only last inserted data in HTML table, instead of reload whole table data. So, here we have make this video tutorial, in which we will discuss how to use Ajax with PHP for append last inserted data into HTML table without refresh of web page. For this here we have testing database, in which we have one sample table with three column like, ID, first name and last name. For learn this topic we will first fetch all data from this table, and then after we will insert data into this table, and append last inserted data into HTML table. This our index.php page, first here we have write form tag, with method is equal to post, and id is equal to add details. Under this form, we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to first name and required attribute for validation. Under this user can enter first name details. Same way for enter last name details, here we have write, input type is equal to text, name is equal to last name and required attribute for validation. For submit form data, here we have write, input type is equal to submit, name, id and value is equal to add, by click on this button user can submit form data. Now we want to display existing data, so here we have create one table with two table column like first name and last name. Under this table, we have create one table body tag with attribute id is equal to table data, under this tag we will display existing data, and append last inserted data. For fill table with data, here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to noop to class, with mysql host is equal to local host, Database name is equal to testing, username set to root and password set to blank. Below this, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from sample table order by id in descending order. This query will select data from sample table. After this, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method with dollar query variable. It will make query for execution. For execute query, here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method it will execute query. Now we have write, dollar result variable is equal to, dollar statement variable with fetch all method, it will fetch query execution data and store under dollar result variable. Here we have write, for each loop with condition like dollar result variable as dollar row variable, by using this loop, it will fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop, 
we have write echo statement with open and close table row tag, and between this we have create two table data tag. In first table data tag, we want to print first name details, so here we have write dollar row first name variable. And same way in second table data tag, we want to print last name details, so here we have write dollar row last name variable. Now we have moved to write jQuery code for submit form data. So here we have write dollar with form ID add details with on method. And under this we have write submit event. So when form has been submitted, then this code will execute. Under this first we have write event dot prevent default method. It will stop to submit form data to server. Now we have start write ajax request, under this we have write first option, url has been set to insert.php, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, and here we have write post, so it will use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data option, here we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write dollar this with serialize method, it will convert form data into URL encoded string. In fourth option, we have write data type, and here we have write JSON, so from server data will be received in JSON format. In fifth option, we have write before send callback function. This function has been called before Ajax request has been sent. Under this function, we have write dollar with button ID add with attribute method. Under this method we have write disabled. It will disabled submit button. Lastly, we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server in JSON format. Under this function, first we want to enable submit button. So here we have write dollar with submit button ID add with attribute method. In first argument we have disabled and in second argument we have write false, it will enable submit button. After this we have write, if statement and under condition we have write data dot first name, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write HTML variable is equal to open table row tag. Below this, we have write HTML variable and in this variable we have append HTML code like open and close table data tag, and between this we have write data dot first name. After this, we have again write HTML variable, and in this variable we have append data like open and close table data tag, and between this we have write data dot last name. So here we have store last inserted data details has been converted into HTML table row format, now we want to append under table body tag. So here we have write dollar with table body tag with prepend method and under this we have write html variable it will append data in first row of html table Lastly we want to clear form data 
so here we have write dollar with form id add details with zero index dot reset method it will clear all form fields now we have moved to write php code so we have go to insert dot php file and here first we have make database connection after making database connection here we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with first key double colon first name with value get from dollar first name and second key double colon last name with value get from dollar post last name variable so here we have store form data under this dollar data variable now we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into sample table with table column like first name and last name and values get from double colon first name and last name below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar data variable it will make query for execution for execute query here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method with dollar data variable if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar output variable with array in this variable we have store form data with key like first name and last name now we want to send this data to ajax request in json format so we have write echo statement with json encode method under this we have write dollar output variable so here our code is ready now we have check output in browser friends here we can see that when page has been load into browser then on web page we can one form with submit button and below this we can see sample table data in html table format now we have first convert page into inspect element and after this we have fill form details after fill of form details we have click on add button after click on add button here on web page last inserted data has been appended into html table and here in inspect element window we can see only last inserted data has been received in json format which has been appended into html table format by using this feature we can reduce database execution load and also it has only received last inserted record details in json format in place of whole table details in html table format if you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also if you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our youtube channel for get more update regarding release of future video lastly keep watching our youtube channel thanks for watching this video tutorial